good morning good morning I, I like I said I'm being intentional on Facebook here and trying to show up for myself and for you guys um, so what's today Thursday I want to talk a little bit briefly about my motherhood journey and how now I feel like I'm in such a better place with my kids being older and I feel like I'm just now finally getting the chance to like I have the energy to get up early I have the energy to like do my makeup and do my hair as before when I was just kind of like <clears throat> just getting through it like breastfeeding and feed, making sure they eat healthy you know nutritious meals on um hi Sylvia what's up girly good morning good morning um so I just I just wanted to encourage moms um no matter where you're in your journey like just always celebrate the wins when you're in your season enjoy that time like I feel like this morning I woke up I had so much joy in my heart I was so thankful um to wake up early to shower in peace um to do my makeup this is a simple face but just doing this makeup put me in such a good mood I was able to take down my hair um I got a video coming <clears throat> today I gotta edit and do voiceover um for my heatless curls yes black girls can do heatless curls um <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm in such a better place. Um, and then also I live, um, I moved from San Diego. So I live an hour outside of San Diego. So just north of San Diego and it's a smaller area and I've met some really amazing moms and other people in the community. And I've been able to like create this little community or a little family away from my actual family. So it's been nice. Um, hanging out with other moms and their kids around the same age as mine like I'm waiting for my neighbor that I met at the park um, when I took my kids to the park and if you know me personally or been around me you know I'm very social I'm I'm a chatty Kathy I never said I, you know I, I definitely am a chatty I like to talk to people I like to network you know that's how I am. So I met some really nice ladies. We've been able to do play dates and we get along well. And it's just nice to be in the season where I'm feeling like I can have like a little sense of a community. So I just, I guess my message is, it's just, it's just different levels to every stage. Like some people have a community right away because they have family and friends around. Um, <clears throat> my story is not like that. Um, I had my kids away from family, um, so I'm just bringing just just saying pretty much that just to celebrate where you're at. So I'm I'm feeling joy today. Um, I drop just drop my daughter off. I'm gonna go exercise. Um, I'm showing up for myself every day. Waking up early. Um, my goal is to <clears throat> lose this weight naturally. Um, and watching what I eat, um, not emotionally eating anything. So, um, yeah, I'm just proud of myself. I'm proud of this moment in my motherhood journey that I didn't give up. I didn't stay down because life is a cycle. You get your highs and lows, but you want to celebrate the highs so you can remember them when you're low. So, um, <clears throat> fighting postpartum depression, just feeling down like your life's changing you know you gotta it's a lot it's a lot to manage and I'm just thankful to God that he built me the way he built me so yeah that's that's what I'm just I'm just coming on just to have a conversation with y'all that I'm just happy for where I'm at right now um and I'm gonna hey it's a bee I, I, I just tracked a lot of bees lately um but I'm just showing up and telling you guys I'm just happy today I'm thankful um, all those lows I had they have brought some incredible highs so I hope that makes sense to you guys it resonates maybe you can get something from it but it's really worth all the lows you know just to get some high so <coughs> Ooh, excuse me there was something else I wanted to mention I was talking to somebody in my DMs about motherhood. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, it just goes back to the conversation. Um, 
that you know you just gotta celebrate where you're at and you know it's so easy to be envious of other moms oh they got this they got that or they got their family around you don't know how someone is managing mentally so it's never good to compare yourself to others i know it's very hard but you know i'm always doing self checks with myself and i am that crazy journal person so i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you how many journals i carry with me <laughs> you're gonna be like oh hold on <clears throat> And this is just to encourage anybody who wants to start journaling or doesn't don't know where to start. Oh, is that my friend? Yeah, oh, here she comes. Like this is for just learning. I'm I'm actually learning some legal stuff right now. So this is my legal journal. This is my planner. So sometimes if I don't get to write in my daily journal, I write like what I did for the day or some goals I have. So this is my abundance manifestation journal that i actually created it's on amazon you can order it it's in my bio but i like this journal because i i created it it has line pages and it has blank pages and i just like to write like affirmations to myself like here's i want peace i want a life of ease i want more money to enjoy happy memories i want to have more more ways to manage stress you know just little affirmations or little like things i draw on here and then this is my journal for my daily thoughts <clears throat> but um journaling has helped me a lot you know i just like i'm i'm one of those weird stationary people i love pens i love highlighters so i won't even show you how many pens and highlighters i, sh I well i can show you hold on um but I carry one of these with me like I'm in school and I, I just love to write my thoughts it's a great way to manage your stress as a mom and it's a great way to keep your thoughts private and to manage your own situation um, I would say about six months ago I had a dear 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 friend of mine that I consider like my sister pretty much um, Tell me she won't be friends anymore through a text message and that really hurt my feelings but it it led me into the self-reflection that me and her were never fully aligned you you feel me we never were fully aligned and that relationship ran its course even though i personally wouldn't do that to a friend um you just never know what people are going through mentally. And then sometimes people project whatever they're going through on others because you're, you're never fully anybody else's problem. People are their own problem, right? So I think journaling has always been a thing for me. I've, even as a child, I used to write books and stories and it's always been some, a way for me to manage stress. So um as a mom you have to find ways to manage stress like you guys see me show up on social media i post content that is a hobby of mine that i do earn a little money from or earn income from but you have to have a hobby you have to have a way to manage your stress and you just have to find ways for you to cope and also manage your own personal life and your goals and different situations and I guess I'm just sharing. I'm just having a conversation with you guys. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys got something from it. I'm going to go work and exercise. And I will talk to you guys soon. All right. And if you don't do anything else today, write out your thoughts. Write out how um, grateful you are for your life. Like, I am so grateful. You know, it's been five, five minutes a day when you wake up. And I'm, I'm telling you that it will make you feel so, so much better. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to stay encouraged. Don't forget to love on those that love you and do something nice for yourself today, okay? I'll see you soon. Bye.